Yeah. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Hi. Hi. Welcome. All right. Well, uh, first of all, I just wanted to say that although we're not able to be together to console each other uh, physically, it's um, well, it's really fortunate that we have this uh, digital uh, age and technology and we're able to be together with each other spiritually um, during these trying quarantine times. Um, and maybe we can help each other process our grief. Um, sorry, I, I figured we could share our thoughts. Uh, did everyone write something? Yeah, I'll say some words. Um, uh, as an artist, Oscar had a cool way of doing everything three times more proficient than you without ever making you feel dumb about it. His charisma beamed off the stage lights. When he frowned, you knew what he was feeling, and when he smiled, you could feel his character just shining through that fourth wall. Now he's gone. <laughs> oh, what? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh. oh, he's so cute. Oh. oh my gosh, how old is he? He's 12, but that's like 73 in cat years. He's an old man, but he's still my baby. Oh, <laughs> it's his coat looks so silky. Oh, yeah, he eats well. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I'm so sorry. I, I'm sorry. Oh, We're no. in the of something. I... It's okay. It's it's really nice to have distractions. Thank you. Okay. Okay, I found my place. Oscar. Oscar. Oscar was a social butterfly. He could start a party anytime, anywhere, and even those cocktails were terrible. You couldn't help but love them because behind the bitterness, you could taste the love and the thoughtfulness that went into each drink that he made. He made everything special. Oscar was unforgettable. And I believe he's gone. Oh, hon. Oh, hon. No, is that, that's not your last role, is it? I can't. I can't. I can't. It's okay. It's okay. Take your time. No, no, I. Somebody else go. Okay, um, I'll go. Uh, Oscar and I, well, we knew each other intimately. I guess you could say. Uh, we went to middle school together, which, as you know, is where all bad behavior begins. Um, he was popular with all the boys and uh well a real a real troublemaker and uh for with the girls um <laughs> and popular too he was known as the flasher and well after a while teachers just stopped noticing because it wasn't worth it on their cigarette and coffee breaks to take time for a student who had a penis complex and <laughs> oh we used to dress up as electricians <laughs> and we'd go to MILF's houses and they'd let us in so we could fix stuff and, and we'd try to sneak a peek and, and see if we could watch them while they were undressing. Um, one time we stole a bike just so we could get to a porn convention up at Cow Palace <laughs> and we had to get there on time. So one time his sister baked a cherry pie and it was her first one. She was so proud of it. And then Oscar, he took this cherry pie and I'll never forget, he took it into his room and, and... Oh, Damon, we can't hear you. Can you hear him, Michael? Uh, no, I'll go, I'll go. Okay. Um, Oscar meant the world to me. He inspired me to be the artist I am today not just because of his skills, but because of his tremendous energy. Neil Young had nothing on Oscar's heart of gold. His heart sang it better. He could tell when you were feeling down. He knew what to say in those moments. 
and and then when he was finished he <laughs> he offered a slice to his grandma and his grandma took it jamie and, uh michael uh he started can you let him oh, finish oh yeah of course of course i'm so sorry michael um he was just so Oscar funny told me and... once that he's afraid of losing his friends and now we have to face that fear ourselves we are losing him <sighs> Oscar will have to live on in our hearts as we continue to treasure our friendships as he treasured his. <laughs> that was beautiful. Thank you, Michael. No, <laughs> no, thank you for organizing this. Did you want to finish yours? No, no, I, I yielded my time. I'm just so happy that we were able to come together and do this, you know? <laughs> Yeah, this is certainly the, the weirdest memorial I've ever been to, but I'm sure Oscar, wherever he is, is he's laughing right now and probably grateful we're here. I'm just glad he's not suffering anymore. God, I wish that I could have talked to him like this one last time. <laughs> I know. I, I feel so guilty for not having reached out to him. And I, uh, this is going to sound weird. But I did talk to him. Oh, you did before he went? What did he say to you? No, 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 no. after! What? No, that's that's not possible. What do you mean? I... I know it's not, but... Something happened. He, he was on... G chats, you know? Online. Active. Well, I doubt that he was able to log off in the middle of dying, Michael. I know, I'm... I'm just trying to say, well, Michael. Maybe, maybe this isn't the best time. I mean, we're all, we're all grieving, and and this is tough. Look, I don't care if it sounds crazy, but I'm telling you, I talked to him. He reached out to me. He said, "I'm better now." If if we take away anything from his passing, it should be that he's at peace. <laughs> Oh. Wait, I think he's... I, I told you guys, I'm not making it up! Hey! Oh! 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 Why are you guys wearing all black? <laughs> We're celebrating. Doesn't look like it. I mean, I know it's been a while, but jeez, you guys look like shit. We were celebrating you, Oscar. Your life. Wait. <laughs> Do you guys think I was dead? What the fuck are you talking about, Oscar? You were sick during a pandemic, and then you went missing for two weeks. Everybody on Facebook confirmed that you were cast, that you were dead. <sighs> That's why I got off Facebook. You can't believe anything you read on. Well, why didn't you contact anybody? What, what's wrong with you? My internet went out, okay, and I had to wait for the unemployment to kick in so I could pay the bill, and the Wi-Fi around here is slow. You know I live in a basement. Oh, and I'm sure that your phone didn't work either. No. I took a little quiet retreat, so I just turned it off and went off the grid. I didn't know you guys were going to take it this seriously. <laughs> no, no, this is not funny, Oscar. <laughs> I cried for you, okay? Oh, I'm sorry. I wish I could have seen that. Hey, can you do it again? No! no! You, you could have at least let people know you were alive, okay? Uh, you could have just come over. You live in Excelsior. So? I'm leaving. I no, no, wait. Wait, don't go, please. No. Yeah, me too. You know, I shouldn't be wasting precious makeup during the apocalypse. Nobody even saw my face today. Well, you could still take a picture. Okay. Uh, come on, stay, let's catch up. Uh, you know... You should know better than to get sick and not tell anybody, especially during an outbreak like this. Hey, I, Michael, 
You knew I was alive. I mean, we talked. Why didn't you tell them? Because I thought you were talking to me posthumously. You what? What? You actually believe that? I don't know, man. Look, for what it's worth, they actually said some pretty nice things. Aww. Did you record it? No! What the fuck? Why would we do that? I don't know. For the memories? I mean, I would. Look, I'll talk to you later, man. Friends are weird. <laughs>